welcome and if you haven't done so already support the channel and subscribe is absolutely free like and share the videos and leave the comments down below activate the notification bell to be notified when I upload quick simple and delicious video recipes like this one I like to treat my family with a multicultural gastronomical experience and today I prepare for you my easy step-by-step -step on how to make homemade meatloaf. If you would like to see how easy it is to make homemade meatloaf, come back and I'll show you how. For this recipe, we need seasoned croutons for the breadcrumbs, sofrito criollo, coriander powder, chili powder, dried oregano, freshly ground black pepper, total seasoning, adobo, onions, bell peppers, carrots, and garlic. One egg and equal parts of sirloin and chuck. Start by dicing your meat into chunks and place it into a freezer for a flash freeze for about 45 minutes. You can buy your meat already ground. I like to grind my own meat um, and it's always easier to grind your meat when it's nice and cold. Add your croutons, coriander, oregano, chili powder, complete seasoning, adobo, and ground black pepper. Place it in a large mixing bowl. Roughly chop your carrots, smash, and chop your garlic, and pulse it about 10 times. One, two, rough chop your peppers, and finally the onion. Add your carrot mixture, mix it, set it aside, and grind your meat. Depending on the type of croutons that you use for this recipe, most of the time seasoned croutons are salty. Before we add the meat, we can try it. Mm. It's perfect. You can adjust the recipe according to the flavors that you like. Add your ground meat. Mix it using a folding motion just like that. Careful not to over mix. You also don't want to squeeze your meat. That's going to yield a very tough meatloaf and we want our meatloaf to be nice and juicy. On the bottom, up, just like that. The egg we beat separately and mix it with the sofrito. In this recipe, the sofrito is entirely optional. If you can't find a sofrito, you can omit it. I do have a video on how to make a small batch of sofrito in my channel. Make sure you check that out. The sofrito is actually one of my secret ingredients for this recipe. Mix it with the meat, again using the folding method. We're ready for the mold. For the mold, I'm using a loaf pan that is nine by five inches by three inches deep, lined with some wax paper and pour the mixture into the mold pressing it slightly just to shape it the bottom is going to be the top of your meatloaf shape it just like that I only use the loaf pan to shape the meatloaf. I prefer to bake my meatloaf on a baking tray. Line a baking sheet with some parchment paper and a mold. Try to get it in the center of the cookie tray if possible. Look at that. Perfect. The secret to a good meatloaf is temperature and we need to monitor the temperature and for that I'm going to be using a probe thermometer that I'm going to insert in the center of our meatloaf on a 45 degree angle. Make sure the probe doesn't touch the bottom of the pan. Uh, that's going to impact the reading. Place it in a preheated oven at 325 degrees until the meatloaf reaches an internal temperature of 155 degrees. In the meantime, let's prepare the glaze. We need honey, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, chili powder, granulated onion, and ketchup. Mix all your ingredients, the ketchup, spices, honey, and the honey is going to help develop a crust on our meatloaf, Worcestershire sauce, 
and as an optional ingredient, the hot sauce. Mix it and set it aside. When the meatloaf reaches an internal temperature of 90 degrees, add a very healthy coat of our glaze to a meatloaf working very quickly to keep it from dropping in temperature. And that's the sound that our meatloaf is ready. And there we have it, my version of meatloaf. Well you guys, the meatloaf is finally ready. Check it out, it looks beautiful, smells delicious, and it's time for my favorite part. Let's try it. I want a little bit of that glaze. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It is tender and juicy, and it has the perfect amount of spice just the way I like it, and that glaze is really amazing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and activate the notification bell to be notified when I upload more delicious video recipes like this one. And until next time, I'm Evita, cooking at the rhythm of my heart. Buen provecho, y hasta la próxima. Mm. You really have to try it.